So you've recently received the notification from Etsy that you can now upload videos to your product listings. But there's just one problem. You don't actually know what kind of video to create, let alone how to actually create the video to upload in the first place. Well, that's a-okay because today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to not only decide what kind of video to create, but also how to create an animated video to upload to your new product listings. So you've been staring at that notification from Etsy for days, weeks, or even months now that you can now upload those videos into your Etsy listing. And you're stuck in limbo because you don't know whether or not to just ignore it completely or actually create a video, but you do wanna create a video and you're not sure exactly how to create it. Heck, you know Martin Scorsese, right? But that's a-okay because I'm going to be showing you a very easy step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do just that using my favorite online design tool, Canva. Now, before we actually jump on into my computer to show you exactly how it's done, I just wanna mention a couple of key points that you wanna think about before you even start making the video itself. So firstly, you want to think about the reason why you want to create the video. Now, I actually created a video with in the 30 days of Etsy series, all about what type of videos you can create. I'll leave a link to that video just above me here in an info card, and I'll also leave a link to that video in the description box below. But essentially what you wanna think about is why you wanna create the video. So is it going to be showing off some of the features of your product? Is it going to be showing off the benefits of your product? Is it going to be answering some specific questions about the product that might not be able to be shown in your product description or in your Etsy images themselves? Maybe the video is actually showing how the product can be used. So just have a think about what is the outcome of the video itself. That way you know what kind of video you're going to create. Now, secondly, you also wanna note that this video is actually quite short. It's only between five and 15 seconds long. Now, when I created my very first video listing, I originally had it at about a minute long and I thought that was short, but it turns out that it's not. So I had to crop it down, I had to edit the video and I had to speed it up as well because it was a screen share of one of the products that I have in my Etsy shop. And so I had to really, really cut it down to that 15 seconds. So just keep this in mind when you're creating your product listing video. Okay, so now that we have all of that out the way, let's jump on into my computer now where I'll show you how this is all done using Canva. Okay, so I'm here on Canva. Now, if you haven't used Canva before, I highly suggest signing up for a free account. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Now, this link will give you a free 30-day trial to try out Canva Pro. Um, and then once that free 30 days is over, it'll just transform into a free account for you. Okay, so let's start this tutorial. Now, what I wanna do is you want to create a template or a, I guess a base for your actual product listing video. What I suggest is using the same dimensions as your product listing images. For me, my product listing images are 3000 wide by 2400 high in pixels. So I'm going to do that so that way, when somebody's scrolling through the images, all of the image sizes are consistent. So to do this, all you need to do is go to create a design, create custom dimensions. Now the width, like I mentioned, for mine is 3000 by 2400. Your listing sizes might be square. So if they are, I would recommend doing a thousand by a thousand. Okay, go create new design. And then it's going to open up a brand new template for you. Now, before we actually start designing this listing, what I wanna do is just jump on over to my Etsy shop now, so Penny Street Studio, and I'm going to show you the exact product listing video that I'm going to recreate here in this tutorial. So I'm just here on my Etsy shop. Now I'm just gonna scroll down and the video listing that we're going to create is for this product here. So the step-by-step -step roadmap, let's click in that. And if we just click here, this is going to take us to the video that I've got. So as you can see, it's really just a scrolling effect of all the different pages within this product. So it's kind of like an animated video rather than an actual 
video itself. So you can see how this can be quite effective um, to show off the products that you have in your shop, especially for digital products. So let's try and recreate this now in Canva. Okay, so I'm back here in Canva. So first we want to actually create that background. So let's change the background color here to one of my brand colors. To add in that triangular shape that cut across the screen, all you want to do is go to elements down here where it's got shape. I will just pick this square and then all you need to do is just rotate it slightly and then just expand it by dragging out these little toggles. And then out again and then you can just maneuver it to whichever space you like. So I'll just pop it in like so, just change that color to that. Okay, so now we actually want to go and find the, the tablet or the iPad that the actual animation is going to sit in. So to do that, you just want to go to elements again, just scroll down, see where it says frames, just click on that to open up all the frames. And what it actually does is it gives you a whole range of different shapes and mockups that you can use to import your own images and videos into. So for this example, we're gonna use this iPad or tablet here. So just click on that to import it into your template. And let's just go ahead and resize this like so. Fantastic. And then just drag it around when, it, when the two pink lines match like so, you know that that's dead center. So now what we want to do is we want to start importing those screenshots of the product into our tablet here. So what I did is I saved the product image mockups, so the actual pages of my product as PNGs, and then I've imported them into my Canva account just by dragging it in. And then all I need to do is then just drag that image into this mockup here. So I will just show you how that's done. I'm going to go find those images now. Okay, so here are all the images that I saved. So these are all PNG. So all I need to do is go ahead and drag these into this iPad. But the key here is to drag first your image so it'll fit just nicely. And then what you wanna do is to create the next image or the next, I guess, slide in the animated video is you want to duplicate it by just clicking this button here. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you two of the exact same image. But what we wanna do now is add a different mock-up here. So to do this, all you do is just drag your next image in. So I know that that's the next image in my product. So you can see how you're starting to create like a, a slide of images that when combined will create a video. So I would go ahead and do this for about 10 to 15 different images. So I will go ahead and do that now. And then once it's done, I'll show you what to do next to create your video. Okay, so I've got about 10 images here. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, you just wanna take note that we're only creating a video that's no more than 15 seconds long. Okay, so what we wanna do here is up here where it's got this animate button and then we've got this little timer button here. So it's got five seconds for your timer. What we wanna do is we wanna edit this for every slide to be for one second. So here we've got page one and we wanna change this to one second. And go ahead and do this for every page. So why am I doing this? Well, it's because I know I've got 10 pages. So effectively I've got like 10 slides. And if I set every slide to change after every one second, I know that my video length should be around 10 seconds long. So one more thing you wanna know is that where it's got this animate button, just click on that. So just make sure that the animate feature is set to none. You don't wanna select any of these other ones because what will happen is that it'll create a little fun effect to each slide. And we don't want that because we want it to show every slide seamlessly. So um, yeah, just make sure that it's none and then apply to all pages. So make sure that that's ticked. Okay, so then all we have to do is go up here to the download button, click on that. Then where it's got file type, just click on this little arrow here and then select MP4 video to turn it into an animated video. Ensure that all your pages are selected. So here it's got all pages and then click the download button. 
and then it's going to start downloading your animated video. Once that's finished downloading, you just want to open up to check to make sure that it's all okay. Okay, so as we can see here, it's created an MP4 video and we know it's 10 seconds long because we've set it to one second intervals. So if we press the play button now, we'll be able to see our newly created animated video. And there we go. So it's going through all the different pages, AKA the slides of this video. So there we go, a really quick and easy way to create an animated video. Now let's go on over to my Etsy shop where I'll show you how you can actually upload this video quick and easily to your new Etsy listing. Okay, so I'm here in my Etsy shop dashboard and I've clicked on the Etsy listing to where we want to actually upload the video to. I went ahead and actually deleted the video that I currently had on there so I can show you exactly how easy it is to upload your newly created video. So what you're gonna see first is your title and then a whole heap of the photos that you've added to your product listing. Just scroll down, it's going to show you your um, thumbnail image here. And then just below all your images is where you can upload the video. So all you have to do is either click here where it says add video or simply drag your file directly onto this space here so I'll go ahead and do that now and it'll start uploading your video so once it's uploaded it's going to show you this player and all you need to do is click this play button here to play your newly created video and there we go that's that new video that we just created in Canva pretty easy right so then once that's all done, all you need to do is click the publish button here and it'll save your new video into your Etsy listing. Now let's go ahead and check this out to see how it appears on our actual product listing. So I'm back here at my Etsy shop and I've just opened up the Etsy listing. If we scroll down here, we've got our thumbnail image. And then if we click across, it'll start automatically playing a newly created video. So there we go. It's so, so simple to create something that really is quite effective. Now, if you notice, there was a little notification on the, um, the area where you upload your video. So let's just go back and I'll show you that. So here we've got, um, now it's gonna say here, so quick note, 50% of Etsy buyers will see your videos in an experiment we're currently running. So they haven't actually rolled this out to all Etsy buyers at the moment, only like it mentions, only 50% are actually going to see it. And I guess when this does roll out for everybody, so all Etsy buyers are going to see it, you're gonna see more and more sellers use it. So I encourage you to give it a go, give it a try, and start experimenting with creating videos for your Etsy listing. And as you can see by today's video, it's really, really simple. You can create an animated video just like this one in minutes. Okay, so there we go. A fun and easy way to create an animated video that you can upload into your Etsy listings today. So my question for you today is, are you going to be using this technique for your own Etsy shop listings? I would love to hear all about it. So be sure to mention it in the comments below. And if you have created a video and uploaded it to your product listings, be sure to leave a link to it in the comments below. I would love to go ahead and support you by checking it out. So I will catch you in the comment section and in the next video. Bye for now.